up? It's Sky, aka Summer, from the band Simul Psycho, and you're watching Ramsey! Good afternoon there everybody, Howell Davis here reporting to you from Download 2019 for Ramzin. I am here with the one and only lovely Sky from Sumo Psycho. How the hell are you doing my lovely? I'm doing fucking great man! <laughs> I just played a set at Download Festival and it went off so I'm on cloud nine right now. That's awesome, I'm a little bit apprehensive for the interview because there's too much excitement, it's going to blow up the camera at some point. Ah, I know, <laughs> you've just come up and you've just played your very first download. I know! Generic question heading your way, how did it go? Was it good? It was, you know what, I've been hyping this thing up for months and months, ever since we knew we had this, and I don't know if it could have gone better. I mean, we've been waiting for this moment, and it's like one of those times where you just seize it. Mm. I knew on coming out on the other side that I just feel so good just being able to say, like, people were loving it, it was a good time, mm. played the songs, nothing went wrong, we were just feeling, we're feeling good, like I said, cloud nine, can't yeah. it. <laughs> and a feel for the metalheads, it's quite an intimidating side but to, to be honest with you you have the funnest stage there the avalanche stage you've got oh, zebra head real big fish oh, you've got yeah. big fish in the gimme gimmies so you've got to keep up that fun factor and oh, everything like for that sure. was that thing something you were playing before going on stage it's like we've got to show these guys what to do eh? oh hell yeah especially since we're at the beginning of the day right friday early on the set yeah. so you guys we got to like hype the energy up because everyone's got the rest of the festival to go mm. they need to start off on a good foot right they do indeed yeah. they do indeed <laughs> that's awesome though and this is your first ever time as in like a fan or a musician or anything like here at download or have yes. you become a yep and, so did, and you did oh you brought your wellies you brought okay, your wellies, wellies crisscross baby there we go <laughs> uh we actually were putting off buying these until yeah. the very last moment and then we started seeing the, the photos coming through yeah. uh, of everyone camping and we're like okay let's make the the jump let's find some wellies find a rain poncho because we're gonna need it mm. we had fingers crossed we wouldn't need it but you know it does you happen. gotta prepare it's for the worst not, it's not as bad as that so you know count our blessings there yeah. so let's go into a little bit more of your history there now about sumo psycho because from what i gather from my amazing sources and researchers oh, cool. that oh. is that you've just came after after listening to skin dreads babylon oh. now how true oh. is that is that a wikipedia fact of fiction you listen no. to it and sumo psycho was born from that head of yours <laughs> <laughs> well i i was good friends with my guitarist matt drake for many years he played guitar with me but we decided uh, together because we had a mutual love of Skin Dread that we wanted to do a project together and, and how? kind of like the cornerstone that brought us together was our mutual love of bringing like the dance hall rhythms and the rock and the metal and having a, a fun party band and, uh, and and Benji knows this I've given him much credit to the fact that I felt like I wanted to be a female Benji Webb mm -hmm. and kill it the way he does which I could only hope to aspire to one day yeah. Um, but yeah and, and uh, yeah Skindred was a very influential band for us starting out and it was crazy to be able to do a song later on with mm. Benji, yeah. uh, Move Mountains and uh, we soon became like quick friends and I'm just like, it's those moments when you start realizing like those, those milestones you put in front of you are actually kind of coming it's into realization and it, yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, you just have to put it out into the universe. Sometimes mm. it'll actually actually give back what you want. And the amount of lies you're permitting into the universe, you can see you're from the other side. There's, <laughs> I've never seen a band with so much goddamn neon in my entire <laughs> life. And I think you have the personality for it as well. But the next Benji Webb, my, my, that is a, that is a, those are some- I'm trying guys, <laughs> come on. <laughs> She's doing her best, damn it. Internet, leave us alone. But um, obviously going a little bit further back into your history as well. My girlfriend is a cast member. You were a Disney cast member oh. at one point as well. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I was quite curious, are you still good with a house of mouse? Or is that something you kind of <laughs> want to put to the side a little bit more? There is no shame though, because I'm a big Disney freak myself. Okay, so yes, I have done a few theme songs for Disney shows. Mm. I was the voice of Barbie at one point. So I've had my tween, teen years uh, consumed in, in kind of kid pop culture. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'm not ashamed of any of it, because because it really helped me learn the skills I need now as a performer. Yeah. And you know, you may look at it now trying to play metal shows and trying to be as hardcore as possible. <laughs> See so rock and roll. Yeah. Um, 
I wouldn't be able to have this confidence if as a younger girl I wasn't able to do those things. So yeah. to me, I never feel ashamed of it, even though it's kind of like this geeky kind of like pop culture history. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of my, it's part of who I am and part of why I've gotten to this point. Exactly that. And the most underrated Disney film in your opinion there. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So I will go for it, you go first, I'll go for it. I'll go after it. Okay. I've got mine as well. I feel like the Disney film Mulan doesn't get very much uh, hype at all. And I actually worked with Matt Wilder, and I don't know if many of you guys out there know this, but if any of you are fans of No Doubt and Tragic Kingdom record, which was mm. like my like one of my all-time favorite records, Matt Wilder produced that record and also wrote the entire score for Mulan, the, uh, the musical to Disney uh, movie. Mm. And uh, when I worked with him, I was kind of like, I did one song with him. It's never been released anywhere, but whatever. I was I was totally starstruck. Not only because he's done like an entire Disney film, but worked with No Doubt, Christina Aguilera, like all mm. these like icons. And so yeah, that that that's the first thing that comes to mind because of the fact that I felt like I was like nobody knows how genius you are as a producer. Empress New Groove. Sorry. Em Empress New Groove. That is mine. Ah, Empress underrated. New Said that really I'm, fast. I'm, <laughs> Empress, New Empress New Groove. Empress New Groove. I gotta get out there. We run the clock. Uh, We've got things to do. We've got things to do. That's awesome. No, I love Mulan. Actually, yeah. that's re they're remaking it as well, which I'm kind of okay. They remake not... every single one, though. That's what that's they're trying to do. They're trying to drag as time. much money yeah. out of you as you possibly can for your nostalgic childhood. So uncharacteristic of Disney to want more money. <laughs> I tell you that now. Oh, he's coming for me now. But obviously, like um, with the amount of energy you guys bring to the table and the amount of like look at us kind of thing, uh, with British fans and the UK fans, there's obviously a little bit of a cynicism behind it as well. And don't want to damp the party or anything like that but obviously how do you deal with your with some of your most hated critics then oh you know I'm lucky I haven't met two of them because they are to get a punch in the yeah. face yeah. <laughs> um, but you know we do this thing on stage where sometimes my guitar player will will cross his arms and look at all the guys or gals in the audience with their arms crossed kind of judging mm. and then I make the comment sometimes hey you guys standing there judging us mm. from your vantage point well we're here judging you as a crowd and I want to see if you guys can get out there and let your inhibitions go in order to have a good time and one example that comes up to mind right now is I was playing a show in New Zealand and one of my shticks is I love to get everybody really low on the ground and then we all jump up together and awesome. one stickler was just not having it wanted to stand up in the middle of the entire place Always just won. standing straight up everyone's down and I gave him the look I gave him the speech I gave him the second speech and third speech would still not do it and I was like well fuck that guy like just leave him alone <laughs> I gave him enough time he doesn't need any more energy why is he there then <laughs> who was the first guy at our merch table that night was the dude who wouldn't give me the time of day while I was on stage he's like I loved it what a and twist. I was like well, you didn't get down when I told you to get down. He's like, well, I wouldn't get down for Slipknot, so I'm not getting down for you. I was like, are you just like a rebel? Like, you cannot <laughs> deal with someone telling you what to do? He ended up buying a t-shirt. Oh, Great yeah. guy, but okay. had some type of problem with being getting told down. what to do. Yep. I don't know. I mean, uh, Metal and Rock, we do have the tend of, you know, the reputation to be a little bit rebellious I now. I guess and so, then. yeah. I guess he's the exception to the rule, really. Yeah, well, sure. if you ever bump into him, well, we'll, we'll tell him what's what. But obviously, Album three is in the works at the moment. According to your website, 41% of the way there. Yeah, we're getting close, guys. Very, very close. And I've never seen a band who's put so much effort into their crowdfunding ever. Now, you've put in a lot, a lot of effort uh, into this as well. And you've gotten very creative in your way of promotion as well, in the forms of, like, the gang system that you've got oh, going on at the moment. Yeah, you're paying yeah. attention. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. All my metal fans are like, what, you listen to Super Psycho? I was like, yes, I do, damn it. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, uh, can you explain to us a little bit more how fans could get involved with which gangs they do, like you have to take a quiz and stuff like that. Penis yeah. Picture. Okay. Well, I live in a, a fantasy world. I don't know if you can Canada. tell. <laughs> it's a little bit like Canada, but it's a little bit more crazy and it's called Psycho City. Mm. And all of our music videos for Super Psycho take place in this crazy world where anything goes. Mm. And all of our fans are more than welcome to become honorary citizens of our world. And we decided uh, to make things special for album three that everyone could join their gang. So it's kind of like not only uh, 
uh, their their uh, their clan or their group or their club, but you need to take a, a special quiz at sumopsycho.com slash album three in order to fi figure out which club you belong to. Mm. And then once you get that information, then you might want to look into which uh, package you can get in order to experience our next record properly. Mm. So we're always the type of uh, band that likes our imagery, likes our music videos. So this was another way to kind of bring our fans into the experience, make them feel involved, and um, and in a geeky way, it's like a comic book world, an alternate universe. Mm. Everybody loves their you know Dungeon and Dragons or their Harry Potter world. Worlds or they're, you know, I I have a geeky side that loves my comic books and my me adventures too. and yeah, all that stuff. I think we all stuff. do at the end of the day. So to me, it's kind of our own sumo psycho way of, yeah. of uh, building that up. I was going to say, there's a bit of a theme going on at Download at the moment. Okay. Um, everyone's supposed to be the dress up theme is video games and stuff like that. So if you've oh. seen people around dressing video games, you can see it there. Have you seen anyone in particular that, that I've said? I've like... seen a Viking and I've seen one guy with like this red kind of blocky costume on. But I got to say, if you need to know about video games, my, my drummer is way better at that stuff than I am. I'm not so into that world, but he would yeah. probably know which characters are out there. Awesome, I love set. it. Awesome. Um, for my final question, when can we expect Album 3 to drop on us? Alright, so, boys and girls, we are coming back to UK November, late November, early December. We're playing all the major cities in UK, so I want you to check out SumoPsycho.com. We'll be announcing that very shortly. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we'll have new single and the album date released, so you, if you don't have the album in your hands by that day you're coming to our show, that you will know when it's dropping, which will hopefully be by the end of the year, fingers crossed. And you can also get a vinyl for the first time as well. Yes! <laughs> we are finally moving into that uh, vinyl sphere. I know our fans have been asking the for it. The vinyl sphere, oh my, that's the word, of the, the word of the day. The Ramsey word of the day is right there, the vinyl sphere. I love yes, it. we're love going it. to the vinyl sphere, and if you guys are interested in vinyl and you like vinyl, please check out sumopsycho.com slash album three and check it out. We're going to have it for album three, yes! Absolutely, I think that is a wrap there. Thank you very much, Sky, for being my guest today. As she's just said there, you can go to sumopsycho.com dot com or forward, go to facebook.com forward slash sumo psycho and catch up with everything that is there now as well you can like share and smash that subscribe button click the bell to make sure that everything is notified for you everyone everything ramzine will be here for the rest of the weekend sky thank you very much thank for you. joining as well ramzine.co.uk be there thank you